Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me. This is Tamara Oviatt with Sacred Activations. This is a last minute call. My friend Wesley Jackson from London and I were talking. It's like, man, we've got to record this stuff because it's so fresh in our mind and what we see, what's going on. Um, Wesley, in my last book I just wrote, Heal Yourself and Heal the World, that will be available soon on Amazon. Him, he has helped me write three or four chapters in the book and we've recorded conversations and that's what we're doing today. So we decided to invite a few people in and really open this up on um, YouTube and, and share it. Um, we're not here to bash anybody, no. but I wanna talk about the energies on what I've seen, um, you know, going on around the world with these elections and stuff. I find it quite interesting. And um, so Wes and I are going to talk about that a little bit and really, you know, where we're going as a nation, you know, we've, we talk about the 1% all the time, you know, the square root of 1% creates our reality or can shift reality. And I think that's what's really going on. People are speaking, people are standing up and we're going for change. And um, it could look a little scary. Change can look really, really scary. And people that come in to bring that change, you know, we might look at them and, and, and not see their faults. We see their faults, but we all have faults. I have faults. Do you have faults? Yes. I mean, you know, I mean, seriously, but um, let's, you know, we voted. So let's get behind this person and send them love and prayers that he's going to be able to do the right thing for our nation and our world. You know, we have a, as a world, we're waking up, you guys. You know, we always used to say square root of 1%. Guess what? We're over that. That's only 8,000. Live in your heart. Live in peace and keep seeing peace come. Sometimes it might look a little scary at first when we don't understand. But things are unfolding. I was in um, England, and Wes and I were sitting in the house during the Brexit vote. What was that like, Wes? Wow, that was amazing. And it was a really powerful week because going on at the same time was Glastonbury Music Festival. Now, I'm sure people are aware of what that is. And it takes place on a really powerful ley line in England called the Michael Mary Line. So that was going on at the same time as the vote. And in that same week, literally two days before or after, I can't remember, there was the summer solstice where the most ever people had gathered at Stonehenge and it was so significant we could feel it yeah it was so strong yeah and I was saying to Tamara it's got to start here first uh -huh. and it will escalate everywhere else because if you think about the British Empire and the size of Britain this tiny little island seems to have gone all over the world and the USA has been a part of that and now it's escalating there that grip is going. It's going what do you mean by that grip is going? That grip, that grip that these, that these few at the top have had is starting to crumble. Yeah. But a lot of people are still not seeing it. Yeah. They're getting yeah. caught up in it. They're getting caught up in it with their emotions. Yeah. And they're projecting their emotions. It's, it's so quick to... It's so easy to jump on there and say Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, homophobia, um, sexism, classism, all of these things. It's so easy to jump there and do it, and they love it because they're the ones that are inventing it through our emotions being projected. Yeah, and it's about keeping us in fear and suffering so therefore we can be controlled. And, and I really think with what has happened in, in England, I mean, I was sitting there, and, and, and I didn't believe it was going to happen. I went, there's no way they're going to break off from Europe. And I also thought that. I thought it was going to be fixed. And, yeah. And, and when it happened, we were just like going, oh, my God, look what just happened. Here's the, first, here's the first break in the world control of what's been going on and what it's been going to. You know, I, I posted something today uh, on, on online is, 
and I think it was 2014, I was sitting in um, St. Michael's Mount in Cornwall, and um, Archangel Michael came to me and told me I would see world peace in my lifetime. And I believe that, but I also kind of felt hopeless. But, you know, God told me I had to go to England and I had to go now. And it was during the Brexit vote. And I didn't understand why in the hell I had to get over there and I had to get over there right now. And, you know, it's just happened. I just got back from Mexico, same freaking type of trip. And I'm going to tell you what happened there. And now I know why I had to go. Now I know. And I get goosebumps all over while I'm talking to you guys. You know, we were sitting there and Wes and I were going, oh, my freaking God, I can't even believe this is happening. And we're jumping up and down. Oh, my God, it's happening. We're turning. Because it's like, you know, I, I knew the, the, the collective consciousness was shifting. I knew it. I see it. I can see it. But when that vote happened... I was totally blown away. And at that moment, I looked at Wes. I said, maybe Donald Trump actually has a chance to win. Because I didn't think they'd let him win. I remember and, that. and he did win. And I know a lot of you aren't happy about it. And a lot of you see his faults and judge him. Well, well the thing is, I, I'm, I'm not here to defend him or anything else. But I'm thankful. And I'll tell you why I'm thankful. Go ahead. Yeah. I, the thing is, I understand people want to see a, a female president. They want the UK to be part of Europe. That's a really good thing. Yeah. But as it stands, with what's going on behind the scenes, it's not good. It's not good. It's leading us into a police state, a one world order. <clears throat> now, I don't want to go too much into conspiracy theories and all that. No, this. but that's, that's you, where it was going. But I'm going to go back to a quote from the bible don't know where it is but i'm always reminded of this one quote the meek shall inherit the earth it also states heaven on earth we are the meek donald trump is not a politician no. i've heard donald trump call them on 9 11. i've heard him call them on global warning warming and other things that you know a lot of the stuff he couldn't say again during the election but I know he knows the truth. And if you're a light worker, you know these things. He also does. You never hear a politician say anything like any of that stuff. No. And there's, a, there's an interview that he did before all this started on InfoWars with, um, I've forgotten his name. But Alex he Jones. He talks more than when he was up there on the, on the stand, but he knows. Yeah, he knows what's going on. And, and I think this just shifted our world hugely. And, and people are freaking out over it. Um, and it's okay if you don't agree with me or not. I'm not here to change your mind or try to convince you of anything. But what I would like to do is, you know, help you let go of some of the trauma and drama you're feeling and, and disconnect you from the illusion so you can see your own truth. And maybe you're not seeing the truth of the collective because Wes and I were talking about that too. In the metropolitan cities, you could see the vote differences where people were out in the country where there's less of them and they're spread out. You could see one type of vote when in the big cities where the collective is really tight, you see another type of vote because everybody's connected. So when you're in big groups, it's easier to control the whole group in that belief system. But when you're spread out and you're not plugged into that whole group consciousness so intensely, it's easier to see a different perspective and, and not be plugged into that. Because, again, we're a collective consciousness, you guys. Yeah. And as a collective consciousness, we voted. So let's please get together and send prayers and love to all of us that – that we get a, not that we get to really start shifting because man, we're shifting and we're shifting fast and let's see it continue. Let's see, you know, our new president support us as a nation, as a world to get through this stuff and to work together in fairness and business. He's a businessman. Let's, let's see that business action go in that we can really work together as a collective in business. 
Wesley, say you. What's that? Say, you. <laughs> say something. <laughs> I just talk about Brexit for a second. Because okay. the same thing happened here with the cities. London voted to stay in Europe. Scotland voted to stay in Europe, which was no surprise because they've there's been a problem with England and Scotland for quite a while. They're wanting to pull out and then all of a sudden they're wanting to be in Europe. And then Northern Ireland, because they're so tiny, they also opted to stay in Europe. But the rest of England voted to come out. And if you take London, Scotland and Northern Ireland out of the equation, more than 75% of English people voted to come out of Europe. And then the people in London started calling people in the rest of England and wanted out of England. So they sat there saying, oh, the xenophobes. And what do these people then go and do? They want to be out of England. That makes them a xenophobe. So they're projecting they're in a turmoil. And that's what these elections are bringing up. They bring up, brought up exactly the same things in America as they have in England. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've really been getting back. <laughs> these are the sleeping emotions that we need to we need to get out we need to uh, deal with yeah these are what they couldn't get out in the in the world wars and that's what led to them but now they're yeah. coming out they're coming out it's great it's amazing yeah yeah it's, it's kind of amazing funny. time to be alive <laughs> yeah it's kind of funny some of the things people are saying to me yeah you know i wish you could see and I'm just, it's like, okay, <laughs> you know, I wish you could see. It's okay. It's okay. You know, want to talk about that's freedom. okay, because people are in their fears, and that's okay, too. But, um, you know, I just want us to come together, because, you know, if Hillary would have won, I'd be doing a webinar on Let's Come Together. You know, the people spoke. And, um, you know, it's, it's really us as a collective that are pushing things forward. Let's come together as a collective and push things forward that we really desire to see in the world. And we've really got to let go of the fear and the suffering and the control and, and the suffering. I mean, I'm going to be doing a webinar on that in a couple of weeks, self-sacrifice. You know, when, you know how I had to go to Europe for the Brexit vote. I had to go to Mexico before this one because they've been telling me for a while I have to do a Wednesday call and it's free. And I'm like, okay. So I started getting it going and then we changed websites, blah, blah, blah. And I still was kind of lost in what we call it and stuff. And when I was in Mexico, I was sitting on an altar in one of the, um, the temples or the pyramids or whatever. A lot of them don't have points, so they call them temples. And I said, gather. So I found out what my Wednesday call is supposed to be about. It's all supposed to be about peace. I'm going to call it the Queen of Peace. And I want to invite different people on and really focus on and do healings for the whole world so that we can come into peace because that's what I'm all about. I'm not all about fighting. I'm not about um, teaching you. I'll do some activations to clear your energy, but you know, I, I don't feel a need to defend myself or to um, point out my point of view on all of this, but um, I do feel it necessary to um, help where I can for you to make your own decisions. And that's by running some activations of alchemy of the third dimension, which allows you to really see through God's eyes. And also unmasked, so you can see, look at everybody and really see the essence of who they truly are. And also a fear of change. I think we, we should run all of those. So we're going to run those in a minute. Um, and I really feel like they've been running all day. I can really feel it in, in my stomach. <laughs> it's like, whoa, this, this energy is so heavy. And, you know, truly before the vote, I ran unmasked and alchemy of the third dimension for like five days straight. I just really wanted the, the, what we're really supposed to do to come out and really help, you know, the collective to see what we're supposed to do. And, you know, I honestly didn't know what that was going to be. I didn't know who was going to win. I had no idea. 
but I'm for peace, I'm for love, and yay. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead, Wes. I was just going to say, I don't think anybody knew that he was going to win. No. It was the same with Brexit. Yeah. I think there's, an, there's an undercurrent of light that's pouring in. Yes. Well, it's shocking the polls. It's shocking yeah. the media, the newspapers. Yeah. None of them are predicting this. No, everybody's in shock. And there's a big shock energy, too, in the world right now. We should probably clear shock and trauma. <laughs> and look at the world right, there's four activations, shock and trauma. How come we have the third? Unmasked and, and what was it? Fear of what? Fear of change. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, go ahead, Wes. I'm glad you joined me. <laughs> I don't know if this is really a paragraph for the book, but... <laughs> Just gonna say, oh, about the world leaders. Now look how what all what they said to Trump before the election. Now look what they're oh, saying. Oh, I don't know. I, I really don't watch the news, although they I did watch it on the election night. I was yeah, I sat there and watched. They've all completely changed their tune. Have they? And they did not none of those thought that he was gonna get in either. Uh uh. It's crazy. Yeah. And if I just go back to the thing that you were saying about Queen of Peace, I am the Queen of Peace. Now, there's no ego attached to that. There's a line in the Bible as well that just popped into my head where Jesus says, I am the light, I am the way, follow me. That's not right. him being egoic. That's him recognizing what he is, and he's saying, you do the same. Yeah, exactly. Well, and same with healings. He says, you go out and do what I've done and more. Go do yeah. it. And everybody limits himself. Oh, I can't do as good as Jesus did. You know, they told me that, and it kind of blew me away, and I had a really hard time talking about it. I brought it up my practitioner training this weekend because I'm working on getting into my empowerment of really being able to stand up for who I am. And... Um, they told me it was time to take my place as the queen of peace. So I'm the queen of peace. Do you want to be the queen of peace too? Or would you like to be the king of peace? The king you of can peace. all be kings and queens. <laughs> <sighs> We're all one, right, you guys? Exactly. That 1% is us. That 1% is projected there. Yeah. But I would like to say one thing because you said, Wes, um, they are we're going to do a police state. It's already happening in Germany. Already happening, yeah. Yeah. Well, well I'm hoping that all of this is going to change it, honey. Well, the thing is, I think what happened in Britain and what just happened in the United States is, is stopping that one world order. It's, you know... We are, you know what I see and what I see in our future, this is, this is the vision I have, is that um, our militaries around the world will be going to different countries and helping set up infrastructure and helping rebuild countries. And we will work together. Okay, you guys are good at this. We're good at this. And we all trade fairly. Yes. And that gets the economics up for the whole world. That's what I see. I see this. This this is a vision I have seen, and I'm hold, holding it. And, and that's 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 my game. If I get to play a, in a video game, that's what I see. So keep. Don't go into we're a police state. Go into yeah. peace on earth, and peace begins in here. Yeah. Do you remember when we were in Glastonbury, and we started to see that what would happen in America? The next country that it's going to happen in is your country, Germany. Yeah. You have an election coming up soon, don't you? Is that true? I don't even follow that anymore. <laughs> well, I have heard that there's an election. We have elections. We just had elections in Berlin, like uh, local elections, and uh, the left won, yeah. more or less. Well, you see, these things are all connected, and they all tie back to the world wars. This energy is still running, even though it's coming to an end. And who are the three major countries in that? The UK, the USA, and Germany. Yeah. And they're the first three that are being picked off. Today they decided to um, 
uh, give the police more power and and uh, have stricter punishment for um, when you attack a policeman. Um, more and stuff. That is going to have the effect. That is going to have an effect on the people, oh, going, and Germany is going to be shocked, like the other two, like, like these other two countries are. <laughs> yeah, they were shocked, yeah. all right. <laughs> it's going to escalate. It, it's going to be like dominoes all around the world, you guys. Just watch. Yeah. But especially if, if it does, if it does happen, we already had it before, you know, like uh, in the thirties, we had the police state. But it's not going to be the same. No, oh, things are changing. Things your are vote is gone. Your vote is going to shock them. They're not going to be prepared for it. They're not prepared for this. They weren't prepared for Trump. They're not going to. They be did prepared. not believe Trump was going to no. win. They did not believe the Brexit vote. Everybody was in shock, and everybody's in shock. And people are doing here what they did in England. So it's, you know, it's, let's just see love to everybody, you guys, seriously. And if you um, think about it, which country is the anchor of Europe? It's Germany. Yeah. And Germany will change. And then the rest of Europe, it's just going to escalate. And people because remember the collective consciousness, how it spreads, you guys. I mean, look what just happened. Look what just happened in Britain this summer. Yeah. It's, it's spreading. It's changing. People are standing up saying, we don't, we're not doing this anymore. And there's people walking all over the world saying, we're not doing this anymore. I really believe it's going to be like dominoes. I really do. I really, we're all starting to wake up and we're waking up fast. We're waking up super fast. And because the faster it goes, the faster it goes, because the more people that disconnect, the more people that disconnect. So it's just spreading super yeah. fast. It's like a flu in the workplace or a virus on the main computer. You know, it spreads. It's the same thing with police systems. They spread. There's a pattern to it. Yeah. And so it just ripples out. And God showed me this most interesting thing when I was in Mexico. I saw this, like, I saw this thing, like, being pulled. And it looked like um, beads on a string, kind of like DNA, like a DNA strand. And I saw it being pulled out, and I saw it rippled. And it was like, Whoa. So it's like we just pull that belief and it ripples and deletes it throughout the whole collective consciousness. So let's do that right now. Yeah. Fear. Fear of change. Let's clear that out of the whole collective consciousness. Clear that without, within you and through you. Just focus on fear of change. And while I'm doing this, if you've never joined me before, just be silent in your heart, and I'm silent while I'm doing this. Okay, hey, alchemy of the third dimension. This clears you of that illusion so you can see the truth. Also running at the same time as unmasked. Anytime you look at anybody and you wonder what they're truly right like, just say unmasked. 
unmask them, please, so you can see the truth. How about post-traumatic stress? Stress, what is it? Stress and trauma. I don't remember what I was saying. Shock. Say it again. Shock. Thank you. Shock and trauma. We're going to do that through what's happened now and also through the collective war beliefs. Of course, clearing this throughout the whole history, our whole history, our history of humanity the collective subconsciousness collective consciousness you know you guys we're all in this together we're all brothers and sisters we're all part of the whole It's important for us all to love each other and support each other in this growth instead of beating each other up. It's like beating yourself up. It's like telling yourself you're ugly, you're fat, you're stupid. When you say that to other people, it's like saying it to yourself. To please let that go. And say, I love you. You're brilliant. Thank you. Bring in creator's truth and love and acceptance and gratitude that we get to be here on the planet at this time and witness all of this. The growth, the growth of humanity into beautiful love and sharing and helping each other throughout the whole world. Not one of us is better than the other. If you've been attacking people or mad at people, tell them you're sorry and that you love them. I'm sorry, I love you. Come into my heart. I forgive you. Okay, I feel complete. <laughs> I'm feeling good. <laughs> wow. Uh, we're all one, you guys. Let's love each other. Let's help each other through this, through love and honor and respect and gratitude. Yeah. What do you got to say, Wes? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I've shifted so much in these past two days, like I did at Brexit. Yeah. I have so many friends who just don't see it, attack yeah. me. Yeah. And that helps me grow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I was, I was proud of myself. I didn't, I didn't get mad. I ended up deleting a couple of comments because they were just so nasty and rude. I just went ahead and deleted them. I haven't attacked anybody. I haven't felt like I need to. I've stood up for myself. You know, I really don't, just, I don't owe anybody an explanation to a, a, anything and to attack me and say, Trump is this and that. Why did you vote for him? I don't feel the need to answer it. You know, it's like, I'm not answering that. And all these people are saying these comments and stuff. And, you know, 
I mean, you and I have been kind of laughing about it and sending them love at the same time. And you've been making a lot of amazing comments. Me with being dyslexic to sit there and put all my thoughts down like that is too difficult for me. So I thought we'd record it. <laughs> That's where I come in. <laughs> That's where you come in. <laughs> yeah. All right, Wes, thanks. Thank you for sharing your time with us. I, I love you guys. I'm thinking about maybe tomorrow at 11.11 at 11.11. Let's do a manifestation phone call of what we want to see in the world. Yeah. Doesn't that sound good? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. I think I'm going that's, to hit Paris too. That's a big too. ritual that's part of all this. <laughs> what? That's a big ritual that's part of the USA, UK, and Germany. <laughs> 11-11, oh, you know, it's funny, it's my brother's birthday, too. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and I guess send out an email and post 11-11 um, manifestation call. I'm going to write it up. I'm not having my staff do it, so these are, these are the typos. But it will be posted on my Facebook, and I'll go ahead and send out an email. And I'm going to send out a, a, a replay of this, so, yeah, let me get this up on YouTube. Thanks, Wes. So do you want to join me at 11, 11, 11, 11 tomorrow? 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. <laughs> That sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right, you guys. I love you. Have an awesome night. Thanks, Tamara, for doing this. Thank you're you. Welcome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You're welcome.